Greetings fellow mages, Exalt here, bringing you your daily dose of Magic Mana Strike. Happy weekend everyone. This video is a follow-up video to the last one which I posted that talks about how to defend against Tezzeret's Aether Squall Ancient plus Reaver Demon combo. How has, how has that combo changed since the updates have been pushed? Well, you guys are all aware that the Aether, the Aether Squall Ancient remained the same, but the Reaver Demon was nerfed and you can now effectively sac sacrifice up to a maximum of five creatures um, when you summon it. The short of it is this. It's now easier to defend if the Tezzeret user decides to employ the same strategy that it used in the past. So Tezzeret users, you guys have to be a little more creative than just single lane harassing using that same combo, all right? Because now that green has received plenty of love, there are more ways for green to counter um, the push. Especially at, at this point, everyone already knows what the strategy is all about, right? So we're going to watch one of my replays where I use Veraska to defend against a Tezzeret user. We have Thanos from Team Catalunya. He's a little ahead of the points, but you know, the, the, that many number of points don't really matter too much in the game. They're just an indicator that they've probably won a few more games than I did. All right. So we know how the combo works. The Aether Squall Reaver Demon combo. It works by hiding the Reaver Demon behind the Aether Squall Ancient. So there you go. So you have you have the Raven, which is a new card, right? All of them are sacrificed to produce the Reaver Demon. Now notice that what I did was to actually place my creature right there at the back, the Accursed Spirit. Because I've been playing for the deck for, for a while now, I already have an idea about how fast that spirit will march towards the middle of the, of the board, right? Um, how soon it would meet the, the demon, right? So I'm not gonna wait for it to like cross the line before I start placing my creatures because if I do that, it may already be too late for me to defend. So here we have a brand new creature, Sylvan Advocate, targeting the Aether Squall Ancient. And right now the Aether Squall Ancient's ability has hidden the flying creature, which is the demon, right? And in typical Tezzeret fashion, Tezzeret was dropped to provide ground support. And in, in the past, that would be enough to decimate any opponent. There are a lot of people, just, just go to any thread, right, on Facebook or any social media. You'll find that there are a lot of people complaining about how strong this, this combination is. And there's a reason why a lot of people stick to it, because it works, right? So as you can see here, now I have two defenders. Both of them are capable of defending against flying creatures. And I know that the Reaver Demon, uh, sorry, the Aether Squall Ancient will not attack my creatures. It will only attack the building. So I'm, I'm, free to, um, I, I'm free to place them closer to him, right? And then I placed Vraska right there at the back. Maybe I should have placed him a little closer so that he can, you know, meet the Ancient earlier, but what I did was I also placed the uh, Circle of Pain to slow them down. It's going to slow down all three of them, the Planeswalker and these two flying creatures, right? And notice what I did next. I know that the Skull Catapult will not be able to reach this flying creature. It won't because it only attacks ground units, right? But since the Aether Squall Ancient only knows how to attack buildings, it got distracted and it moved towards that direction. Now that it's gone, the um, demon has, it has been exposed. And because Tezzeret was, uh, it is a ground character, the catapult managed to do some damage to it, um, effectively, uh, effectively destroying it in the process. So now, did we win that push? Absolutely, we won that push. Not a single damage on this tower on the top. In the past, it would have been crazy difficult 
to try and defend against a an, an eight sacrifice or a nine sacrifice um, river demon, especially if it's hidden by the Aether Squall Ancient. So now we're marching forward. This is my dex win condition. Just make sure that this creature, Jarl's Messenger, manages to move to the other side, right? When it dies, it will revive later and it will increase its damage by up to 400, not up to, by 400%. So this tower right here is already down to half its HP, right? We drop the Birds of Paradise to produce more, to produce more mana. And then we Circle of Pain. And the Circle of Pain will damage the Skull Catapult and it will also continue damaging the tower. And we place our own catapult to, uh, Skull Catapult to defend. Notice the positioning right here. Skull Catapult right here on the lane. Um, maybe I should have placed it somewhere over there. That would have been a better position um, because Desert's ability is an area of effect damage. So it, you, as you can see, my tower has been receiving um, damage as well but the accursed spirit was placed here on the side so it does not take the same damage as the tower and the skull catapult so now you this creature is free to hit the planeswalker and of course we drop Vraska Vraska's ability to move and become um, Invincible for a couple of seconds. That's gonna do plenty to destroy that or to add damage to that tower And of course circle of pain the effective use of circle of pain Can mean victory on your end um, in this case what I did was I placed it in such a way that it hits the tower and The planeswalker so that it's slower, right? my tower will receive a few damage from these flying creatures, but not enough to really um, bring it down. Plus, I know that the messenger is going to wake up shortly. One, and it's done, right? Again, notice the positioning, right? This player insists on performing a single lane harass. You see how inadequate that strategy is for for this for this season, right? So now I placed the. Skull catapult in a much better position. Now it's not that aligned again with the with the tower. And then I place my archer right here on the side. So we're pushing. And we place the birds of paradise at the bottom. He tried to summon it, but eh, to no avail. Great defense right there. The Sylvan Advocate almost deleted the entire thing. Okay. Notice what's happened at the bottom. I placed Vraska right over here at the edge and activated its ability right away so that it moves closer so that I can drop Jarl's Messenger even closer. This is, we're already on the Mana Strike stage, right? Or phase, which means that I can drop my birds of paradise and produce far more mana or or produce mana faster than my opponent so at this point I, i'm really just distracting him i have enough creatures to block his his progress which is what i'm which is what we're going to do right place a skull catapult defend with that circle of pain they were they were all too slow and he couldn't add more forces right over here. Otherwise, this tower would have been a goner, right? And with that, we've won the match, right? So yeah, um, just like what I said in the previous video, what the updates have made is it forced, it's now forcing the players to be a little more creative. I'm still salty about, you know, white getting a ton of nerfs, but to, to the defense of the devs, I think, you know, th that that simply means you can't rely on white anymore as heavily. So you have to move on, move on to, the, to a different color. Now, I'm not saying that 
the strategy that the Deseret combo is no longer a viable option. It still is, right? But you have to be a little more creative than just being straightforward, harassing your lane. The old school way, the season one way. Like it's now season two, so you have to be a little more creative, a little more crafty. I hope you guys learned something from the video. Shout out to all Death Watch team members who are watching this video. Thank you guys for the support. Continue supporting the channel, please, if you have if you, if you like this this content, then let me know. If you, there's a specific topic you want to discuss, then put them on the comments down below as well. And as usual, I'll see you guys in the next video. Axel signing off. Peace.